trigonometric functions let's define trigonometric functions using standard unit circle we have considered here graph for x square plus y square is equal to 1 is a circle whose center is at the origin and radius is equal to 1 unit let op makes angle theta with the positive direction of x axis let coordinates of p be x comma y if you draw perpendicular perpendicular distance of p from the x axis is y perpendicular distance of p from the y axis is x now let's define trigonometric ratios sin theta as you know is opposite upon hypotenuse so we get y upon 1 cos theta is adjacent upon hypotenuse so we get x upon 1 therefore we can say that p x comma y is same as p cos theta sin theta so when op makes when op makes angle theta with the x axis x coordinate of p is cos theta y coordinate is equal to sin theta i'll repeat when op makes angle theta with the x axis x coordinate of p is cos theta y coordinate is equal to sin theta theta can take value from 0 to now we have considered one complete rotation so it is 0 to 2 pi trigonometric functions are called as circular functions since the two fundamental trigonometric functions sin theta that is sin and cosine are defined as the coordinates of point p traveling around on the unit circle this point p is traveling around on the unit circle similarly we can define other trigonometric ratios tan theta y upon x cosec theta 1 upon y sec theta 1 by x and cot theta x by y all of you know that tan theta is sin theta upon cos theta cosec theta is 1 upon sin theta sec theta is 1 by cos theta and cot theta is 1 by tan theta or cos theta upon sin theta we also know relation between degree and radian pi radian is equal to 180 degrees so we know how to convert degrees into radian and radians into degrees one degree is pi upon 180 radian and one radian is 180 upon pi degrees now let's talk about equations algebraic equations and trigonometric equations all of you are familiar with algebraic equations like x equal to 0 x square minus 2x plus 1 equal to 0 x square plus y square is equal to 1 now trigonometric equations sin x is equal to 0 sin square x minus 2 sin x plus 1 equal to 0 cos x plus sin x is equal to 1 you must be wondering why I have not considered similar equation like sin square x plus cos square x is equal to 1 because that is the identity it is satisfied by e all values of x whereas these three equations when you consider these this, these equations these are satisfied by particular values of x equations involving one or more trigonometric ratios of unknown angle are known as trigonometric equations now solutions of trigonometric equation let's see how we can solve trigonometric equation 
first example sin x equal to 0 we want to solve that means we want to find this unknown quantity we want to know value of x now sin of which angle is 0 so possibilities are 0 pi 2 pi 3 pi etc infinitely many solutions we can get here but we are interested in finding principal solution now what do you mean by principal solution here x lies between 0 to 2 pi x can take value 0 till 2 pi so in this example what will be principal solutions of this particular equation so for sin x equal to 0 principal solutions are x equal to 0 and x is equal to pi Next example, let's solve sin square x minus 3 sin x plus 2 equal to 0. We can factorize this equation. These are the two factors, sin x minus 2 and sin x minus 1. So we get sin x equal to 2 or sin x is equal to 1. Now when sin x is equal to 1, we know that sin of pi by 2 is 1. So x is equal to pi by 2 right so the principal solution for this equation is x is equal to pi by 2 what about the first part what about sin x is equal to 2 so to mo know more about this let's consider sine function in detail so we want to know is there any angle x which I give sin x is equal to 2? So we consider y is equal to sin x. Consider x axis, y axis and we are going to consider standard unit circle. So we are going to plot graph for this function y is equal to sin x. Consider standard unit circle. So x values from 0 we start from 0 pi by 6 pi by 4 pi by 2 and all these in between points and pi then 3 pi by 2 to 2 pi so corresponding y values we will find out these are all x values corresponding y values we will find out and then we will plot we are going to consider only points from 0 to 2 pi graph exactly similar graph we get when you extend this left hand side when you consider negative side of x axis you are going to have symmetry similar type of graph so here we are going to consider points from 0 to 2 pi let's start when x is equal to 0 when x is equal to 0 what is the value of sin 0 sin 0 is 0 so see how graph progresses as x values progresses see how graph for y equal to sin x progresses now we have completed one complete rotation when x is 0 y is 0 so first point was 0 0 so we have started from this and now see how it progresses this particular curve intersects x axis at the point 0 pi 2 pi in the first quadrant you will observe now first quadrant means from 0 to pi by 2 so in the first quadrant you will observe that y value is from 0 to it increases from 0 to 1 second quadrant pi by 2 to pi y value decreases from 1 to 0 third quadrant pi to 3 pi by 2 it decreases value of sin 3 pi by 2 is minus 1 so we get all negative values here 0 to minus 1 then fourth quadrant 3 pi by 2 to 2 pi values again increases but it is left hand side or negative side right so you observe that in the first quadrant all values are positive second quadrant all values are positive in the third quadrant and fourth quadrant values are negative so we say that sine function is positive in the first quadrant and in the second quadrant also maximum value of sine is plus 1 and minimum value is minus 1 
Now, similar graph we can have for the function y is equal to cos x. Similarly, we can plot graph for y equal to cos x. So, let us see whether we get same pattern or different pattern. Consider standard unit circle with all those values. We will start. Now, here when x is equal to 0, what is the value of cos 0? So, cos 0 is 1. So, graph will start from here or from here. When x is 0, so first point is 0, 1. So, first point is here, right? So, let us check how graph progresses. See? This graph also lies between minus 1 and 1. So, maximum value of cos is 1, minimum value is minus 1. In the first quadrant, value decreases from 1 to 0. See here, this particular graph intersects x axis at pi by 2, 3 pi by 2. First quadrant, all values positive, but decreases from 1 to 0. Then, second quadrant, that is pi by 2 to pi, values decreases. Cos of pi is minus 1. Right. Then third quadrant pi to 3 pi by 2 values increase but all values are negative. Fourth quadrant again it increases and all values are positive. So it is from 0 to 1. 0 to 1. Similarly, we can draw graphs for other trigonometric ratios. Now using these graphs we can easily consider domain and range for these trigonometric functions. Let us consider y equal to fx. When you write function y equal to fx, set of x values or input is called as domain, set of y values or output is called as range. So, let us make table for function, domain and range. For y equal to sin x, domain is whole set of real numbers, range is close interval minus 1 to 1. Similarly, for y equal to cos x, domain is set of real numbers, range is close interval minus 1 1. Then y equal to tan x, here we will have to consider tan x is sin x upon cos x. So, this function does not exist for the points where cos x is 0. So, it is not defined for the points where cos x is 0. So, all those points will have to exclude. So, this function is defined on this domain. Domain is r minus these points will have to exclude. So, set of all these points pi by 2, 3 pi by 2, 5 pi by 2, etc. And range, it can take any real value. So, a y belongs to set of real numbers. Next function is cosec x. Again, cosec x is 1 upon sin x. So, domain is r minus excluding these points 0, pi, 2 pi, 3 pi, etc. And range is r minus open interval minus 1 to 1. That means we have to exclude points which lies between minus 1 and 1. So, cosec x can take any value, even minus 1 and 1 they can take, but not the values which lies between minus 1 and 1. Then sec x, domain is r minus pi by 2, 3 pi by 2, 5 pi by 2, etc. And range is r minus the open interval minus 1, 1. Cortex, domain is r minus 0 pi, 2 pi, 3 pi, etc. And range is whole set of real numbers. I hope this part is clear.